Welcome to Season 3 of Superior Angling TV. Brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Good morning from the St. Louis River, right here in Duluth, Minnesota. No, we're not fishing walleyes. We're doing something totally different today. Eel pout during the day. <laughs> um, eel pout are mainly a nocturnal fish. I mean, they're very opportunistic feeders when the sun you know, goes down for those first couple hours, but it's early morning right now. And when these fish spawn, a lot of times you can have very good success during the day. Um, it's early January and this kind of kicks, eel pout are your very first fish to spawn. So they're going to spawn under the ice. They need very cold water to spawn as well. So we're kind of set up in a deeper hole here. We have gravel down there. That's what you need. You need that deeper water because these fish will, they don't make beds in the rocks. They literally spawn and let their eggs drift down rivers. So they'll spawn up higher in the water column. So you need some water depth, but you also need places where these eggs can go and fall and you know stay on bottom um, once they're fertilized so I, we're um, gonna be set up in a good location here I'm just hoping these fish are gonna go during the day it's kind of a crap shoot one day they'll bite during the day the next they're gonna bite at night so we're gonna stick it out here all day long and see what happens but we're gonna jump inside the otter and get our lines down there when we care about something it shows to help protect these things call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust some things we just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. Your way of life means everything to you. That's why we put our everything into fueling. We're here for you. Every moment. Every day every season with a dependable propane supply and competitive pricing plans that fit your budget. Superior fuel. Switch and save up to $500 annually on your propane. Visit savewithsuperior.com. 
And the thing about river fishing is there's a lot, a lot of current. So to compensate for that, we're using a little bit heavier lures. We're using braided line for a thinner, thinner diameter so the current doesn't take your line out. And we're also drilling holes, separate holes for our transducers, uh, about four or five feet down river of our jigging bait. So um, I have my jigging hole right there. I'm gonna drill a hole like way back here. And I have one in the middle because it's, throughout the day, this current's gonna pick up, it's gonna go down, it's gonna pick up. And the more you see your lure, the better chances you have at catching fish, especially this time of year when your eel pout are suspended in the water column. Yes, you're gonna have a lot that are right on bottom, but there's also a bunch that are suspended. I mean, they may be 10 feet under the ice, halfway down in 20 some feet of water. So um, you wanna be able to reel up to them and see where you're at and jig, and hopefully you're gonna get them to hit. So I'm gonna pop a hole back here for my transducer, just because that current's going super strong right now. Um, and we're gonna try to see our lures. can't see me though. He's right on me right now, on your graph. This is the challenge guys, it's just, you see these fish come in like four, five, six feet off the there bottom, yes! And you can't see your jig, Buskers hooked up. That's I'm marking big. on your That's screen. Big. Yeah, he's on my screen, <laughs> way across the ice house. Isn't that wild? Here, I'll grab him for you. Yeah. Right here. Just need him to come up. Come on, buddy. That's a good one. Look at that, That's a nice one fair run, huh? Look at that, that's a long one. Jesus. Eel Pout City. <laughs> Look at that. You got some good colors oh, on that guy. Oh man, is that fun. Daytime <laughs> Eel Pout in January. Look at these things. Man, are they a creature, huh? Look at that. You can almost grab them right by the mouth. They have a mouth kind of like a bass, so you can just kind of grab them right there and they're not gonna do anything to you. They're really hard to hold on to, so I like to hold them right there, but that's a great fish to start the oh, yeah. start the morning. And uh, he's actually kind of milking right now. It's, a, it's spawning time right now, so that's why these fish are so active and aggressive during the day. Super bizarre, but this is the one time of year that you can get out here and catch them during the day. That's a nice fish. I just barely hit it too, just like those herring. You know, just, really, just yeah. Subtle, very subtle. Yep, yep, look at that fish. Let's get him back. Eels, <laughs> eels, isn't that crazy? That's, awesome. mm, that's a great start to the morning, <laughs> I love it. Bouncing it on bottom, look at there he is. He's still there, you can see him right on bottom. There he is. He clobbered it, man, holy cow. Funk, usually they don't hit that hard, but he, this is a heavier one. This is a heavier one. Here's my leader. Yeah, that's a better one there. Nice. Oh, yeah, not that, not that big, but they put up a good fight. Man, is that fun. Daytime eels. These are the most unique fish in fresh water in my mind. Like, you find these fish in a river system in the summertime. These fish inhabit um, depths of over 900 feet on Lake Superior. So there's a lot of reefs out there that we fish in the summertime. We're jigging in 150 to 250 feet and lake trout have these in their throats. So, um, and you know, there's studies done by the DNR that they find these fish in over 900 feet of water out in the lake. And then, you know, this time of year they migrate and they come in, the, in like a river system such as the St. Louis River right here to spawn. So. Just a super unique fish, but you gotta have cold water. They love cold and clear water. And no, the St. Louis River isn't clear, but they're only in here for a short period of time. Then they go back out into the lake, but Got one all over what a fun too. fish. Yeah, and they come in. There we go. Busker's hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> that a boy. I need to get this one back down. But these eel pelt will travel in groups of, you know, anywhere from like, I don't know, three or four to a hundred. That's not a bad one. 
and spawn. They just make big balls, kind of like, I don't know, just big spawning balls. And it's just kind of big groups of eel pout all together. And this guy's buried. So when you see one, you're gonna see you're gonna see more of them. That one hit you good too. Oh, yeah. Mine just clobbered me. But yeah, and look at I mean these fish are I mean that's you can see them while it's gone now, but he's milking, so these fish are actively spawning right now. So um, that's why fishing is so good, and especially during the daylight right now. So let's get him back. Yeah. Awesome. Down. And we like to respect the resource. Eel pout are an unregulated fish by the DNR. So, I mean, you can come out here and, you know, you can essentially keep it, keep a lot of them, but, you know, we're, we're out here just to have fun and respect the resource. So we're sending all these fish back and we may keep one or two to eat because they are, they are delicious table fare as well. But, um, you know, on a special time like this, when they're so grouped up right here, you really gotta, you know, think about the bigger picture of things and, you know, future generations and release these fish. So. That's a great start. Fish, bam. And I didn't graph that one, guys. I was just rocking it right off bottom, kind of. Um, yes, a lot of these fish are suspended, but you're still gonna have a lot of fish right on bottom. So if you're not seeing any suspended, drop your jig down to bottom, and just kind of rock it back and forth. Look at that. Baby, 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 I like it. These fish have been in like 20 minutes. So if people tell you eel pout don't bite during the day, I'd really focus on, you know, the spawning spawning time for these fish. And look at that, that's a nice one. They get a lot bigger too though. These fish are so unique, you know, like walleyes are gonna spawn, you know, generally late April, early May, like everywhere around the state kind of at a similar time. But eel pout are totally different. Um, right now it's, I think it's like January 5th, January 6th. And right now is the peak of the spawn here. And talking to my buddy um, Hayes over by the Brainerd Lakes area, he's um, very into fishing eel pout on Gull Lake. And they get them like late February, early March is when they see them spawn. So, I mean, almost like a month and a half difference. I mean, it's just bizarre. Um, it's just, you know, they just vary so much on different bodies of water and different water systems. So, um, you know, you just gotta get out there and try. And and, um, you know, you can have a heck of a fun day. And we are still very early into our morning and we're seeing a lot of good activity right now. And I'm happy that they're going through during the day because that would be a long wait until <laughs> sundown if they didn't bite. But you just never know on a day-to-day -day basis. So kind of just what we're using for bait here, it's really nothing too technical. I guess the biggest aspect of it is you want to stay as vertical as possible. Um, so you can see your lure, but Right now we're just using like a half ounce buckshot rattle spoon and just putting some a little bit of meat on it. Um, really it's it's nothing too technical. So I just cut the minnow in half, put the head on one hook, put the tail on the other hook and you're good to go. That last fish I caught was on the head of a dead shiner minnow. So really there's not a whole lot to it. Um, it's nothing too technical. So. That's all there is right there and drop it down. And again, braided line is gonna be your friend in this situation just because it's gonna cut cut through the current a lot better and it's gonna help you give, give you a lot more feel. Winter is here and so are the savings on Lund and Crestliner boats at RJ Sport and Cycle located in Duluth. We are your fishing boat headquarters for sales, service, rigging and much more. Shop our great selection of boats for a variety of fishing styles, including Lake Superior trolling, Inland Lake Walleye, Panfish, and much more. From tillers to side consoles and full windshield models, we sell them all. Stop in and see us today at RJ Sport & Cycle, located off Miller Trunk Highway in Hermantown. Opening weekend to the end of the season, you want every outing to be a success. Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants provide next level engine protection, both on the lake and on your way to it. Keep your mind on what's important this weekend. Choose Amsoil. Reliable is your favorite lure and as dependable as your secret spot. Visit Amsoil.com to find Amsoil products near you. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in Esco. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. 
Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snow plows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wit is trailer sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. And now, it's time for this week's Markham Moment, brought to you by Markham Technologies. In a lot of open water trolling scenarios, a barrel swivel is gonna be your best friend. However, come the cold winter months, it's actually gonna be your worst enemy, mainly because the larger profile size of a barrel swivel is gonna ice up faster, and it's gonna get caught in the guides of your ice rod. What do we do instead? An all braid knot. It's a very easy knot to tie to join a, a braided line and a fluorocarbon leader together, or even two fluorocarbon lines together. All braid knot, remember that. A quick search on Google can reveal how to tie this knot, but once you get the hang of it, it takes less than five seconds to tie. Here you go, he's engaged. Oh yeah, he's gonna hit somebody. Here. Somebody. Who's it gonna be? Oh, that's big, that's big, that's big. That's one. You are on fire. Uh. Ooh, oh yeah. He's got some. This is a little better one. He came up quick. But... Yeah, he did. All right, I'll get my hands wet for you. Might be a female. I might uh, reel up just to get out of your way. Came up quick. Yeah, he came up fast. Bulldog right here. Yep. Come on, girl. Oh, I can see it in that hole. Yeah, that's a toad. That's a big coat. Come on, girl. Nice. Yeah, that's getting a little bigger. Yeah. Easy out. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Perfect one. That's good. That's getting a four or five pound range. Nice. That's yeah. a good eel pot. Wow, fun fight. I love how unique they are. Just yeah, right. Take a moment to look at those fish. They're just so cool Everyone's looking. Different. They're just absolutely bizarre. And just to know that they're underneath us by the thousands is even more exhilarating. Is that a cool fish? Uh, nice fish. <laughs> even though it's their fins down here, they're just totally unique. <laughs> just take a moment to appreciate them. They're, they're fun. They're fun and they put up a heck of a fight, oh, let yeah. me tell you. They, they, they all give good tail they kicks. Do. <laughs> I was just, 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 yeah, they all give a great yeah. All right, so out here the current changes every i don't know half hour hour right now it's our lines are pretty much vertical so in our house here we have six holes and we and we have six just because we can move our transducer between each of them depending on what the current's doing so five minutes ago this current was ripping out there and i have my transducer in the hole the farthest away from me but right now we can look at our lines and visually see that it's pretty much vertical so i'm just going to go grab my transducer and put it in this hole and we're going to stay on top of our lure and be able to see our lure the whole time versus you know um re-drilling holes i mean it's just kind of a good habit when you're on a river system like this just to drill a bunch of holes when you start out it's just going to help you um, find your lure and catch more fish and i i almost think i don't know about you but i think your bigger females are going to be the suspended ones yeah, i mean sure. because that's what they do is they drop their eggs up off bottom a little bit and then yeah literally 10 feet and we're in 22 feet um and they just kind of the females will drop their eggs and the males will come and um, you know, fertilize them as they're essentially kind of free falling down. Chasing me. Is he? Oh yeah. Look at the guy. See, look at. 
Like, take note of this jigging technique because Busker's got it down. <laughs> He's on fire. He is dialed. It's like, once you get that technique down, guys, it's like, stick with it because you're going to continue to catch fish. He's got a little, little mud on his belly. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, these. these things are just going crazy. Be careful with these because it's super easy to get a hook in your hand. Yeah. They are slimy and they twist and turn. I don't know why I volunteered to get this out for you, but... <laughs> I had my phone on my lap, so I slid it to you. <laughs> Sneaky. Come on. Yeah, he engulfed it, man. See, you get them to chase you up and they just whack you. It's just a little, like, like I'm pan fishing with working a plastic. Twisting, twisting. Aren't they cool? Aren't they cool? Isn't that fun? I want to go and target, once these guys are done spining in here, a lot of them will go on the South Shore of Lake Superior. So when we get ice off of like the Superior Entry or off like Amnicon River area, you can go out there and you can catch these guys in like 25, 30 feet of water. So that's going to be on my bucket list if we get ice out there um, again this year. I don't know if we're going to or not, but usually we can get some ice down there for a few days at least and, and chase these fish. But. I mean, they're such a fun fish. You gotta learn to embrace it, learn to love it because they're a super unique fish. They put a good bend in the rod and if you time it right and your location's on point, you're gonna put a lot of fish on the ice in a, in a day. I just, I gotta get that down. I haven't had that. All my fish so far have come right off bottom. But he's just kind of vibrating his rod tip, you know, really fast. And that's what's getting them to go. If you have bigger jig strokes like this, you're not gonna get bit. Remember that rod like 10 years ago came yeah. out that had the built-in like vibrator yeah. thing on oh, it that yeah. made the tip? Push the button. <laughs> yeah, and just, that's what whoa, we need whoa, right whoa. now. <laughs> Maybe we'll send that idea to St. Croix to bring that back. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's Put funny. Put stick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's one right there. Come on. Oh. He's engaged. Yeah, curious, that's going to bite. There yes, we go. yes, that's a big fish. Yep, that's a big fish. Suspended, oh man, oh baby, oh baby. I can't, this has weight. This is hopefully a big female that was suspended. She was up off bottom about 12, 13 feet. Oh, I wanna see this fish, man. Come on, just wanna see a girl. We just wanna see a girl. Oh, it's my heart going. This is as fun as it gets. Oh man, come on, this is gonna be a good one. She's dogging me, she's dogging me. Oh, you have to pay attention on your graph and as soon as you see a mark, you have to reel up as fast as you can. This is gonna be a good one. That's a big fish, holy cow, holy cow. Look at that, yes, look at that head on that thing. That's a big girl. And that is a world-class eel pout. And that is why you come out here and sit out here all day long because you don't know what you're gonna get and what you're gonna catch. That's a giant. That's a giant, barely hooked on the tip of the nose. Look at that eel. Oh my God. Head on that thing. That's a huge <laughs> head. It could have been a female that dropped her eggs already. I don't know. But look at that fish. That's huge. That, that's fun, man. That's worth it, man. <laughs> that is fun. I finally got one high suspended, and that's where your biggest fish are gonna be usually. That's a giant, that's a long one. Uh, that's a toad. <laughs> Let's that's get her back. Toad. Back she goes. That's fun watching a fish like that swim away. Yes, they're unregulated fish, but you gotta protect your resource. That's a, that's a world-class fish right there. Oh, is that fun? Up high, off bottom, reel up to it, jig, 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 set the hook, and it just bulldogs me. That's what it's all about right there. That fish made my day for sure. That was a giant. There he is. Man, are you dialed. Every fish is hitting them. Yeah, that's a good one. This a drag. Like you're betting 100 today, man. You're just on fire. I bet you've had, how many fish have you caught today? A lot. <laughs> a lot of calls. A big one. That's a big eel. <laughs> but yeah, look at that one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Nice. 
Nice fish. I like how dark he is. He's a little more dark. <laughs> Jesus, it's like a month. It is. It is. Here's on to another one coming. There it is. Uh, Ooh, buddy. that could be a good Ooh, one. Ooh, that feels <laughs> that feels good. We're just taking it nice and slow. We're composed. This is a heavy fish. Just release Ooh. that nice one and get another nice one on. It's like every every two minutes right now we're getting a fish. Look at that fight. This might be one of those ten pounders. It be feels nice. It feels good. Daytime meal pot on the St. Louis River in Duluth, Minnesota. Wow. Getting we're getting close. we're getting close here. There's my leader. There's his head. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a big one. Look at that. The mud. Look at the colors on that one. Look at that black dot right there. That is super unique. I've never seen that before. No. That is so that. cool. See, that's what we're saying. Like every fish is different in that you just don't know what you're going to catch. You don't know what the next fish could be, what it's going to look like. I mean, that's what's so much fun about these. Awesome. Look at that black dot on it. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's unique the right black there. Dot. I've never seen that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's a fun fish. He's got another one right up here. Oh, he does. They are so cool. I just love these fish. Another they nice put up one. a heck of a fight. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a little bit bigger <laughs> yeah, I than that. He's, he had to 10. He's probably, I don't know, he's probably six. Oh, yeah, for sure. All of that. He's a good fish. <laughs> you kind of bite down on your thumb. He's got a lot of pressure on there. <laughs> Look at that. Fun, fun, fun. Ow, let go. Fish. Ooh, big fish, big fish, big fish. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's see what we got. It's getting dark out. These fish have not slowed down at all. And we have had fun all day long. Is it? See, he's mad now. Nice, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Not as big as I, I hoped, but hey, that's a heck of an eel pout in a heck of a way to end come on buddy a wonderful day out here on the st louis river catching eel pout from sun up to sundown these fish have provided us with non-stop action all throughout the day how many do we catch 40 50 i don't know it doesn't even matter but it just proves the point that they bite we're biting all day long and you know during the spawn like this that's not uncommon so take advantage of early january you guys come out and try this bring the kids bring you know bring a family it's it's awesome we were blessed with warm weather today um super nice day out and unbelievable action all day long i had fun nice one thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time